Tonight it is girls night out at the ballpark tonight here at the K and tonight we welcome in Nancy Holland who does some incredible work with the American Heart Association. Nancy we will get to that in just a moment but quickly we want to let viewers know your involvement with the American Heart Association. It's something your life changed drastically about three years ago. If you want to quickly share with us just what happened for you to be able to get involved with the American Heart Association. In, in January 2015 I was actually out to dinner with my husband and some friends out at a restaurant and went down with a cardiac arrest. Luckily for me, the young restaurant manager knew CPR and he performed CPR and kept me alive until the paramedics could get there and took me off to the hospital where the doctors could work their magic. And I thought that was a one-time fluke. I thought it was a blood clot, one-time thing, you'll be okay. And then in July, I had two more heart attacks. So I've since been diagnosed with a rare, a rare issue that's called SCAD. SCAD, spontaneous coronary arterial dissection. So it's very rare, but we're learning more about it each day. And talking about learning, tell us about what Go Red for Women is all about. Go Red for Women is the American Heart Association's national movement to end stroke and heart disease in women. And that's very interesting. So, so much has been done in this association and this partnership with the Royals and American Heart Association. Talk a little bit about the, the good that's come out of this. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in women. It kills more women than all forms of cancer combined. One in three women will die of either heart disease or stroke. And it's events like this that we are able to come out, we can raise awareness, we can educate the public, and we can also raise valuable research money to save more lives. And over 100,000 has been raised over these 11 years, so obviously you are you now have this personal uh, uh, touch with, with your situation and your health, so I think everybody getting on board has got to make a lot of good for everybody. Oh, definitely, and we are so thankful to the Royals organization to continue with this partnership. Like you said, over $100,000 has been raised through this 11 years, and in fact, in the past, I'm going to get my stats right here, in the last 11 years, the American Heart Association has actually donated back over $10 million to local Kansas City area institutions, and that has gone on to save over 670,000 women world in the nation. So. Nancy, we appreciate all of the hard work that you continue to do with the American Heart Association, continuing to raise awareness. Thank you for coming on and being oh. able to share a little bit of that with us.